How's it going everybody, Noble Warrior 99 here, and today I am back with another House of Wolves leak for Desi, so I hope you guys do enjoy, and if you do, make sure to hit that like button down below. So first up, we have the Rakisha T3S Compact Assault Rifle, now this weapon looks pretty cool. Now moving on to the Dreamcatcher ARC, we do have a pretty awesome looking auto rifle with life support, so it looks like a pretty cool perk, um, and all these weapons do have a 300 attack, so I do know that these are going to be coming in the House of Wolves DLC. Now moving Moving on to this next one, we have a down and out pulse rifle. Now this weapon looks pretty beast and it can be fired in full auto mode so you can just hold down the trigger and you will get 3 burst fires. Now moving on to this other scout rifle, we do have the Centoc Mod 8 IBR, so it looks like a pretty awesome scout rifle. Now I'm sorry that I am going through these pretty quick, but there's not really much to be said about these weapons because they are very similar to all of the other weapons except that they have higher damage perks and settings. Now we also have the Great Refusal Hand Cannon, which actually looks like a beast weapon and it does have a Union logo on it, so that, that looks pretty awesome as well. And we do have the Hellfire Pylon, which also looks like a pretty cool fusion rifle, so I am excited for that one. Now this shotgun has a very awesome name, it's called the Fun Police, uh, so I definitely do like the name of this one. And, and this shotgun does come with crowd control. Now moving on to the Sniper Rifle, we do have the SEN5 Hoplite Heavy, uh, so I am pretty pumped about that weapon as well. And this one is called the Whitefield Silver Sky, so it is a pretty awesome name once again. I do happen to like all, all of these names that are going to be coming in the House of Wolves, and if you guys did not know, this was not hacked into, it just was a glitch that occurred with the game, so I was pretty excited to find this. Uh, shout out will be in the description down below, so definitely go check out his channel. We do have the Hard Luck Charm, which is a Vanguard Assault Rifle, uh, so these are all the Vanguard weapons now. Uh, we also do have the POR 1562, so that weapon looks pretty beast as well. It's probably going to be like the Atheon's epilogue, considering that the rate, rate of fire is so high, but still, it looks like it will be a pretty cool weapon to use, although it will not be as useful as the first one that is similar to Shadow Price. Now we also do have the 55A All Fate Pulse Rifle, um, does look like a beast of a weapon. We also have the 1-1 Synthesis, I'm not sure exactly what perks these have, it has the high caliber rounds in Outlaw, so that will be pretty useful as well. And then we have the Trustfall here, which is probably going to be my favorite new scout rifle from the Vanguard because it does have Firefly. So if you guys did not know, this makes all precision target kills explode, so it makes the enemies explode. So it's pretty much like Fatebringer, but in the scout rifle form. Now I do believe there is another scout rifle called the Sojourner Rapier, I'm not sure if I botched that pronunciation. But that weapon is also going to be, um, that weapon is actually present in the game right now, um, and it does have the Firefly perk. Now that shotgun actually glitched out there, there wasn't a name for that, so that was pretty interesting as well. Uh, now moving on, we have a 300 attack sniper rifle, which with the solar damage. Um, next up we have Bury the Truth, which is a void legendary machine gun. And then we have the Pax Totalis ES8, which is a pretty cool rocket launcher. Um, probably not as good as the one-way ticket, but it actually does have the third eye there, so that will be pretty interesting to see how that goes along. Now, moving on to the Warlock gear, we do have um, some other similar Warlock gear. All of this is the Light Level 27 for some reason, but these are going to be the new helmets that are going to be coming in the House of Wolves DLC. So now for some reason, this armor is starting at 18 light and then it goes up to 27. So that is kind of confusing how it kind of went back um, into pre-Dark Below launch, although it is the new gear. And this Warlock gear actually looks pretty sick in my opinion. So I definitely want to get my hands on this if I can. So this pretty much ends where I will be talking. All of this gear has been shown before, but this is the first time that it has been in video form. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. Also, if you guys are new here, uh, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel for some more amazing Destiny content. I will just let some music run in the background for you guys to listen to. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. This is Noboy and 9 and I'm out. Peace.
Russell. 